Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here, doing doing this stuff. And I left because uh, I went out and fought a pretty good portion of uh, the unique monsters that we've already fought. Uh, I went and had rematches with them all the way up until the Pentelis region, I believe. I didn't go to Cadentia or anything like that, but uh, I did level up right at the end, and I'll put the clip of me grabbing all of those things in right now, and then we can look at all the skills that I got. So yeah. Alright, so let's look at uh, everything that I got here. So let's just go to lands and just look at what new stuff you have access to. So, uh, I do know there's one, Beast Howl, um, I accidentally got rid of the notification for when I was grabbing everything yesterday. Um, but alright, we have a lot of stuff to check out. So, Rage Strike, physical attack, one target, 180% damage. Boost damage dealt by 100% when HP is at 30% or lower. Hate it. Horn Dance. This is the big jumpy jumpy around thing that the, the stupid Arden use that breaks everybody. Unfortunately, it doesn't work as a break for me, but... 340% damage around the user is pretty good. And boost damage by 50% for every enemy in battle? I mean, that's interesting. Um... This is when cancelling boost damage, this is boost damage dealt when attacking from the side, this is boost damage dealt to 20 seconds, they're all 20 seconds. Yeah, Horn Dance is only slightly longer and does more damage, I guess. About Beast Howl. Boost aggro generated when using art, an ether attack around the user. Eh. And... Draining Vacuum, yeah, we already had. Okay, so nothing else there. But, we have a lot of stuff over here. Piercing laser, boost damage dealt for each art with depleted recharge. Interesting. And it only has a 9 recharge gauge. Well, that's, uh, yeah, it's auto attack recharge, of course, but... Uh, huh. That is an interesting one. Boost damage dealt for each art with depleted recharge, so you actually don't want to use that as a master. Very interesting. That can go on. Uh, aquatic Missile is a topple. I mean, pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, last Fencer. 30% chance to ignore defense. Physical attack. Uh, frontward AoE. 140% damage. And it applies bleed, because poison doesn't exist as a status in this game. Uh, so my press we already had. Butterfly Dust, Bubble Cloud. Yeah, we already had all this. So, alright, we got some new things for lands. Some pretty interesting ones. And we have a bunch of skills to choose from now, too. So... Did accelerating attacks level up or something? Why is it giving me a notification? It must have leveled up while I was doing stuff yesterday. Alright, uh, Sacrificial Heal. Heals 60% of all allies' HP when incapacitated. Interesting. 
Uh, boost damage dealt based on the amount of t battle time elapsed. Also interesting. I wish it told me how much. Like, is it, percent is it a percentage each minute, or...? Reduces damage taken by 10% when recharge for all arts is depleted. When blocking, adds 15% chance to absorb an ether attack. Reduce aggro towards self by 2% when an auto attack hits. Eh. When blocking, adds 15% chance to absorb a physical attack. Boost ally re revival speed for each incapacitated ally. That is amazing. That is a very good one. That's the one I got from the, uh, the dim-witted Tyrkin, I believe. Restores 30% of HP when low HP. Has cooldown. That's interesting. Huh. Okay, so yeah, we got some pretty good ones there, so I'm gonna want to put things on that are more offensive, I'm thinking. I hear lawnmowers outside, I hope that's not picking up on my recording. Um, alright, so... Boost damage dealt when using an art while quick move is active. Eh. Um... Blocking, blocking, reduce damage, yeah, I have a... Boost damage dealt based off the amount of battle times passed, sure. Yeah, I don't have a lot of attacking based ones. Heal 60% of all allies HP when incapacitated, sure. Yeah, so the best bet here would be to just change lands off of an attacker. So maybe I can put Noah. God, yeah. You have like nothing to work on, basically. So yeah, you're just gonna have to chill on Defender, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to stick with what we got. I would love to change you, but if I changed you into a healer, I could put Tyon on an attacking class. I could put Tyon on Stalker or have Tyon finish off Ogre. Hmm. So what uh, healing options do I have uh, for you, lands? Skills. And I, so I have when you die, I have the one where you get people up faster. Um, you have Royal Aid, restore 30% of HP at low HP. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we could make you a healer. We could make you a healer. So let's make you... Giving high healing power to support allies. And giving a balanced set of abilities. Wait, but the question is, do I have any healing arts that are any good? Snake Eyes, 50% chance to remove all buffs from target. Heals nearby allies when art hits. Yeah, I have a few. I have a few. I I'm just gonna make you a healer, Lance. I just realized the problem with my idea to set Lance as a healer. We can't do that because if we do... I don't have a field art to put down, which would mean you would barely ever build up your talent art, so... Never mind, I'm just gonna fix everything. Alright, there we go. Lands is set back up how he's supposed to be, and I'm just gonna keep him like this. I'm gonna try to swap him to a healer so I can make Tyon an attacker, but... It wasn't gonna work out. It wasn't going to work out. But, there we go. So that's all the stuff um, I have access to now with Soul Link. Quite a few things. There's a few monsters early on that I'm missing. Whatever this one is. Target monster, unknown. So, yeah, we have not gotten that one. But we have a pretty good amount of them, I guess. But, obviously that's something I'm gonna have to work on some more <clears throat> off-screen. But let's, ju let's, just, let's just look into this now. Why don't we? Here I was trying to be like, oh, I'll turn you into this, but no. We, we need more stuff before I can do that. Alrighty, so... What's up, Colony Mew? Where's Mew 2 at? Shoo. Frost, Sean. You said you'd come back, you liars. Sorry to bother you, we were hoping to check out the old battle records. Ah, right, Fifi said to expect you. Bear with me for a moment. Right, transfer you the data. If you see anything interesting, let me know. Thank you, we will. Colony Mew we Investigation. Okay, and this is gonna be a discussion that we do. Makes sense. Just going to run recon on the canteen. I bet you are. Oh yeah, I should get the food. Should be safe to use. Let's uh let's get let's some food, why don't we? Order food. What do we got here? Sunny style fish pie. 
Collectible boost, 40%. Cool. Thanks for the food. I will take it. Interesting. Is that berries on the end? Thanks ever so it is, much. right? Creamy, dreamy fish pie. Hey, Manana. This one's for you. Let's looks like uh, blueberries because they were very round. I was going to say blackberries at first, but then I was like, no, blackberries don't look like that. We have tons of blackberries that grow around here. Just wild ones. Hello, Nico. Welcome to Nico's Warehouse. I'm Nico, and this is my, well, not my exactly, but it's a warehouse, all right. Look around all you like. Thanks. I won't be a minute. Nothing here really stands out. It's all as I'd expect from a colony with the rank their flame clock says they are. By the way, are you the one who does inventory management here? No, I think it might be the console? Nico only watches the warehouse. Nico, I should say, is me. Why would a console do that themselves? Yeah, it's very weird. We're gonna be fighting a console soon. Colony Mew Barracks. Cool. And then there's a little gate that goes out to another area over here. There's a treasure back here. That oh, I'm going hey. to grab. Here's a goodie. Give. Say, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm probably maxed out on off on coins again, aren't I? Almost. Uh, anybody else who needs like one of their classes finished off really quickly? Characters, high on. Didn't you have? You're like halfway to finishing though. I don't know. I need to use these for something. Maybe we should go check in with the with the sage again. It might be a good thing to do right now, actually. See if there's any of the other things that I want to buy there. Um, the sage was... Uh, over here? Yeah, right there. Sage is on the style. <clears throat> we can go get some new accessories and stuff. And I do think I am going to progress with the main story after doing this. I think. We've been going for quite a while. I want to see some main story stuff. We'll get back to the other things. But I I am I am tired of being teased on the story. Friends comparing not on coins? Sure do. So yeah, we have one of those already. Boost healing arts recharge speed at 25% when an ally is at low by 25% when an ally is at low HP. 10% chance to grant power charge when evading. Boost ally recovery speed for each incapacitated ally. That is a good one. Reduce aggro towards self by 5% when an auto attack hits. Extends area of effect attack arts. 10% chance to keep recharge when using an art. And on blocking, boost recharge of one random art. And then we have... Oh, all the gold things I've already gotten before. Okay, so we've gotten those just by collecting them. Hmm. I really like the uh, emergency bandana. Boost ally rec revival speed for each incapacitated ally. That'd be really, really good on my healers. This one's also good on, like, uh, Ashira's class. Hmm. Or I could just get another knop on strap. To put another one on an attacker, but I think I'm gonna go for the emergency bandana. There we go. Now I'm not maxed out on, uh, that stuff anymore. Or about to be maxed out, so... Good. Uh, and now we just have to go rest at, uh, or discuss at Mew, right? I also believe I can make some gems, so we're probably going to do that as well. So, ye. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I I'm really getting scared by these, the, these lawnmowers. Why did I... Whoops, this was the wrong island. <laughs> I'm getting peckish. This is Corn Island. Whatever. Well, we gotta do a discussion anyway, it's fine. Um... Let's go ahead and I can make you... Ooh, that's a good one to get. Nicely turned out. I got a tank I'm wheel. Itching to try it. Some point. Uh... And I guess that's good? Yeah, it looks like it's probably good. Don't think I'm going to be able to make any of the next level ones. Got pretty close there. And this one's being really annoying. And no, no. No. Okay, yep. We got to wait on the rest of them, but I that managed to make one. Enough. Good enough for me. 
All right, now let's discuss. Oh God, yeah, no, not not doing those. Calling me. Hey, so, can we talk? Okay, let's not mince words. Calling me is weird, and this is why you can't make friends. I've looked into their combat records. For the past few years, there have been no large-scale combat engagements involving Colony Mew. That in and of itself is understandable, but... Well, we can't do that investigation survey thing you thought up earlier, right? Back to the drawing board then? Well, perhaps, but what really caught my eye was the wastelessness, so to speak. Without any big wins or losses, not only were there no large swings to the flame clock total, there were also no interruptions to the colony supply chain over the long term. So? What's that to prove, except that Fiona and the others are fending well for themselves? Gotta say, that's not really the impression I got of this place at first glance. We've heard of them chatting, they don't really seem to talk a whole lot of training or strategy. And think about the personal turnover. You saw the, you saw the flower garden, notice how young they all are? And to add that to the console's extended periods of absence. Ignoring for the sake of the argument the insecure environment, the colony's military results could really afford such stability. Come to think of it, didn't Fifi say their colony's rank stayed the same? Right, and the flame clock issue was odd as well. Couldn't stop wondering what the point of the deception was. We said we thought it could be to fool enemies, but... The soldiers here aren't given information. It's not even being manipulated. Just flat out not being supplied. Fiona and the others didn't seem bothered by it, but I think in the real world it wouldn't do them any, re any real favors. Right, of the two sides, it's actually Fiona and the others that it affects... What was it Tallow said? Something about not stressing all the time? Hold, back the snuff up. You're not saying... People the console wanted to deceive. Was it the residents of Colony Mew all along? One more thing that bothers me. Looking at Fiona and the others, didn't they remind you of someone? They don't believe in anything beyond what they can see in the moment, still thinking that fighting is everything. Like we did way back when... Right, they're so occupied with reality put in front of them that they don't think of anything beyond that horizon. In Colony Mew's case, they don't seem much interested in anything apart from that banner that Fiona carries. True that. As soon as it's about Fiona, they all get super passionate. You think they're being used? No, it's not a question of being used or otherwise. I'd imagine we're also only seeing what we want to see. That's why Fiona was appointed commander, because she's useful for hiding whatever's inconvenient? The console had to go to such lengths to devise this, there can only be one reason. The console is betraying Colony Mew. The raid we interrupted must have been their doing as well, yeah. They're being thrown under the bus. <sighs> Alrighty. And we gotta tell Fifi straight away. That we do. Alrighty, well then. Lego. And let's actually go to the correct here? area this time. So I went to Corn Island before. It was this island, yeah. Here we go. I needed the marker, but the marker was gone because all I had to do was go to a rest point, so... <clears throat> I should have known it was the one that the, the northernmost island that we have. So... Alrighty, hello. Colony Mew. We are back. And we have information. So hit me with it. Oh no. What's going on? Oh god. It's like back at Colony 4. Another Mobius messing with us. Crap! It's been a while since we've had to deal with this, actually. Since, uh... I mean, they tried to do it with Kamaravi and Ethel. Sorry about this, bud. Tallow! Don't worry, he'll be all right. But now... <gasps> Muse Consul. It was you, wasn't it? Ah. Reality, right? It's just so dull. That's why nobody pays it any mind. They'd rather chase pretty dreams.
You really should have just stayed dreaming. <sighs> Why would you do something like this? When someone close to you gets hurt, you want to become stronger for them. That desire and sadness, they make for a quality flame. Is that why you arranged the attack? Conspired with Keves, sacrificed all those lives? Without some hardship, humans don't come together. It was just the same with you. Cut the crap! How could you put Fiona through this? I know perfectly well what I did! But Fiona, she never once gave up. She wouldn't let the dream be all there was. That purity of purpose. It lifted everybody up. The need to support one another. She taught me that as well. <sighs> oh, well, ain't that nice? Learn this! What are you... Don't hurt my friend! Even if she's bad, she's still my friend! Fiona! <laughs> oh. Fiona! Lance! Stand up. You can do better than this. Please, get up! You'll do your best for the others, won't you? You'll do all that you can, and then some. Stop it! I'll fight along with you if you want. I'll fight by your side against whatever it is that's making you sad, Irma. So please, stop calling it a dream. Hey, don't disappoint me like that. You've already made your choice. You chose what you wanted to see, and freely! Just how heavy is that banner? How many lives do you carry? Please, stop! All of their hopes. You did say you'd shoulder them, didn't you? You said you'd never break up. You said we'd be together! Forever! Crying about it won't change the truth. The fact is, your friends are dead! I'm the one who killed them! in the fight now. So a Mobius that actually feels guilty about what they've been forced to do and are just like in that kill me mood. I'll attack you so you have to kill me. Very interesting. Alright, well, I'm just going to shoot you all in the back. Also God, being like oh jeez. Whoopsie. So that spinny spinny attack got me. Still standing a bit too close I suppose. Okay, interesting. I can honestly, like, I thought it was weird that Irma was, like, seemingly the oldest and also seemingly felt the need to feel like they were in charge a lot. Like, they were the ones saying a lot of things and leading people and telling us what to do and stuff, so I thought that was weird. I did not expect you were going to be the console, though, because every other console we've ever seen has actually been in a console outfit, so that was interesting. Bit of a surprise there. You like that? Alrighty, well, let's get over here. Is it, will this dog stop changing aggro so I can hit it in the face? Jeez. Thank you. Alright, so now we can just do a chain attack. And I think I will just make this faster. Hey, time's over! I just thought of a great idea! A 
got an idea. I might have the answer. I just thought of a great idea. I just thought of a great idea. All right. God, look at the absurd amount of buffs we have because of Fiona. Also, what's your ability? When chosen, multiplies the TP of all active characters except self by 120%? What the hell? That's insanity. Share own buffs. Sure. Give everyone our buffs. Oh my god. Just buffs all day. What a crazy class. Okay, and now everyone's multiplied. Amazing. That's, uh... That's a pretty strong ability you got there. Um... Okay, here's your order. Charges chain attack gauge and grants power charge to all allies. What? Are you saying I get another round? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Huh. I, have an I mean, okay. Sure. So, I should be able to finish it off if I do one of these. And then, uh, I can just use Noah and we win. I'm not gonna use Senna because I'm scared it'll take me over and I don't need to, honestly. I can get to 150% with just Noah. So, there we go. And here's what your little order looks like. I do so love spear weapons. Alright. Ooh, we got Mio. Fantastic. Yeah, and that charge the get Oh my god, so we can keep it going. So, if you're good enough at chain attacks, you can just keep it going longer and longer and longer. Fiona's kind of nuts for chain attacks, and not the reasons you would think, because her, like, giving people buffs and stuff, it's alright for chain attacks. I wouldn't say it's that crazy useful, though. But, both her order and her, like, little special ability are absurd. Like, they're really good. <laughs> so, it's an interesting one. So if I do this, um, yeah, we can get our Ouroboros order. So, yeah, let's start with Yumio. That's big damage. That's what we need. So, boom. And I don't think I'm gonna get to 200%, although that would be really, really cool. Never mind. Boom. Alright, we might be able to do another order. Being able to reset the chain attack meter? Nuts. Absolute insanity. As long as you can keep it going, that is insane. And because Noah's at like 116 TP right now, of course I can keep it going. So... I could go one more round after this, but uh... We'll just take this. I think we can win with this, so... Um... Uh, damage up per enemy, side attack up, let's do that. There we go, that attack does fairly good damage for lands. And we should be winning here. Trying to stop myself from getting too ridiculous amounts of, exp uh, of XP, so I might end it before we're actually done with the chain attack so I don't get the bonus. I don't know if we're going to be able to, though. Eh, let's just, let's just get it. It's, it's fine. Who cares? Who cares? There we go. Big damage. Good stuff. Alright, I. Time to go down. This was a weird quest. There was a lot of stuff going on. Like, there was a lot of stuff to keep track of and all of that. Very interesting little situation with the colony, though. With, uh... The console basically wanting the colony to die and then feeling guilty about that and... All of that. Befriending the colony's commander.
can I save you? Fiona. You'll always be my... Irma? There's the real one. Um, yeah, sorry, excuse me if oh, I don't feel super, super sad about you dying, considering we already went over the fact that you're the one that was planning a bunch of the attacks on the colony and getting a bunch of people killed anyway. But because Fiona wouldn't give up and kept trying, you kept doing more and more attacks to try and make them give up. And then, yeah, yeah, I don't know. You got a lot of people killed. I'm sorry, I'm not crying for your ass. I'm sorry, maybe I'm missing something, but I, I don't know. You do not strike me as someone that I need to cry for. Sorry about it. So do we, how do we actually path over there? Request route. But yeah, as far as I understand with the story, you were intentionally planning for the colony to go down, but Fiona was proving to be actually too good at um, convincing people to keep fighting and stuff. So you kept sending harder and harder stuff, more and more people kept dying, but Fiona would not give up. And then you became came to re respect Fiona and all of that, and then you eventually just were so guilty that you just wanted to die, so you got us to kill you. But you made a lot of people die, right? I mean, you could say it's just the way the system's set up in general that made it happen, but you were clearly um, hastening the process a little bit by getting other colonies to attack this one on purpose. So you're at least responsible for some of the flowers over here. I don't know. I'm not gonna feel bad about it. You're free to, Fiona, but I'm not. So this is where the flame clock was. How did we never see it before? Look, I'm not great with words, but I wanted to say, I'm sure she was a complicated person too. I'll never forgive what Irma did. I know I can never, ever forgive her. But if I'd never met her, I wouldn't be who I am today. That is fair, I suppose. It's like, you're never gonna forget them for the awful shit that they did, but you still do have memories with them and they did shape who you are, I suppose. She's taught me a lot as well. Just... Just promise you won't suffer alone, all right? But if things get too much to bear, you can always talk to me. Hello. If you need to grumble or swear or call someone names, I'm your man. I'll get rid of all your worries. You can count on this turk in head, okay? <laughs> Same old Tallow. She woke me up, you know. Irma did. Made me watch you. I couldn't move. But I followed every word you said. Perhaps she didn't want you to be alone. <sighs> but then, why? Why do something like that? I'm supposed to be the Turkin head, not Irma. I... I want to know about these Mobius people. I have to know what Irma was thinking. Will you let me fight by your side still? No reason to say no. You're already our friend, Fifi. Don't ever forget how you're feeling right now. I think it'll keep you strong. Yeah, I won't. Not ever. Here we go! Yeah. Slashy slashy another flame clock. Might have another reward waiting for me in the city after that. 
Colony Mew has been liberated. Mobius is even more pissed. Alrighty. Well. Quest complete. We got ourselves a new hero. Through her dramatic parting with Irma, Fiona has gained much strength. Hoping to learn more about Mobius, she has joined the party. And Lance is totally the inheritor. Oh no. Oh, no. Yep. Yay. Signifier, roll healer. Unique healer that applies random buffs to allies and can strengthen the whole party with arts. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Yeah, that's a weird class, I will say. It's a very, very weird class. We also have some new Collectopedia cards we can fill in. Uh, Nico, the one that talks in third person. Fascinating ingredients, and Ayase. Looks like we're all done. There we go. Cool. Alrighty, we are done here. Yeah, I don't know. Parts of that, parts of that, there was a lot going on in this quest. And I got a little confused at points, but, uh... Yeah. It was an odd one. Definitely an oddball colony. I wonder if they're actually going to get people that aren't kids now, that Irma's not the one deciding, you know, who shows up here and everything. Because, yeah, Irma was intentionally keeping everyone here young, it seems. Uh... Whoa. What happened? Uh, what they were talking about in the uh, little thing with um, tie on. Um, like Jeez. this. Uh huh. Shoot the harpoon, and the harpoon connects. So this is how we get to this stupid thing. Okay. I was wondering about this, and once I get over here, then we're gonna go to the story. I'm very, very much ready to get started with the story. I can take a lot of side questing, but we've done a frankly absurd amount of side questing. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. All right, so this is just a single treasure. I thought this was going to be their warehouse. Could you help me out here? But no, it seems. Alrighty, gold Let's container even. <clears throat> oh. Good accessory, please. A phantom feather. Feathers are the ones that just increase aggro, right? Uh, yeah, major effect, accrue aggro every second. Alrighty, don't super care about that at the moment. Oh, thank you. Alright, I do have to put a new hero in my party, right? <clears throat> hmm. Like I said, Fiona's quite busted in chain attacks, specifically. You're the new one, so we'll, we'll roll with you for a bit, I suppose. Alrighty. So, with that, I guess we just go ahead and get over here. Boundary's right here. Let's see, if I go over here, Boundary should be waiting for me so I can get over to the main story. We're not going to be able to do a lot of it today, unfortunately. This quest did take longer than I thought it was going to to finish up. The very long hero quest, too. Oh, well, the other ones are a lot shorter. Alrighty, come on. Let me in. Okay. Alright, let's 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 move ahead, why don't we? It feels like this has been an incredibly long time coming. And I just want to see what happened. And this is where it wants us to go? This, like, little cave? Interesting. Ocean polyp. Uh, oh, this little camp. Oh yeah, th there's like a camp. Hello, welcome to my personal space, you jackass. Go away. It's all new. Yeah, we needed to rest here to progress Just the story. We it's unlikely we'll be discovered here. Let's take the opportunity to rest, then proceed with the infiltration. All right. I mean, I've been craving I downtime. personally think I'm ready. There's probably other stuff I could do right now, but I'm I'm just so I'm so ready to get started, so <sighs> progress. We could leave at any time. Let's get on with it then. Am my identification device on? Once we're inside the prison, we won't be able to come back out again for a while. We must be absolutely sure that we're ready for everything. For anything. 
The point of no return. Yes. Let's go. Monaco is staying in the city to lead the lost numbers and won't be able to join the party for a while. Okay. Yeah, this we're gonna be in here for a hot minute. Fine with me. It's massive. That's the Agnian Castle. And it's floating. Seen it before, Mia? Nope. First time for me, too. I like you guys. We never got any special training. Uh, if our intel's right, we ought to find a cave if we circle along anti-clockwise. Is that the one that then leads to the ventilation ducts in the camp? Yeah, that's right. Quickly. We need to get in before it gets light. Alright, let's do it. Pretty much the only other thing I feel like I could have done to uh, optimize a little bit more here is get more stuff for Soul Hacker for lands, but quite honestly, as, as stupid overleveled as we are right now, I don't think it's going to be much of an issue. So let's just get in there. These enemies are all very high level, but I don't have to get out of boundary to fight them, so screw it. Lego! God, there's so many collectibles around here, jeez. Alright, that's the cave we need. And... Disembark. We do just swim in here, right? I mean, the ship's not gonna fit in there. It would scare me so much swimming on top of this water. Yay, we can squeeze in. Cool. Alrighty. Good stoof. The Sea Nod Camp. Cool. Don't need to rest. Let's do it. Vivid Alexandrite. Have I gotten one of those before? Remember Fluid Cranker? I don't know. Is there a unique in here or something to fight? This looks like the kind of area that would have one. I know there's still, what was it, like three or two uniques that were sitting like right beside each other in the Keves castle? I remember seeing them and getting very spooked and ran away from them basically. But I know they still exist over there. No, not a unique, just a treasure chest. Okay, I'll take it. Gimme, 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 gimme. Just a bunch of rocks and stuff. Yeah, these things are all level 47. I mean, being over leveled is nice because I can just walk past all of these things. Otherwise, I would have to fight them all. Later, nerds. They don't want any. They're afraid. All the knights. Fluid Cranker. Whoa, yeah, I don't know if I've gotten... Really good. I feel like I've seen a Chromar fossil before. Oh, what am I doing? I gotta get up the other way. Is it really gonna make me go all the way around? I guess I could fast travel to the map, right? Yeah, it's just... Oh, because I'm in water, it won't let me. That's right. Yeah, because I can't get up the sides there. I gotta go all the way back over here and walk my way around. Wait. Ow. Wait, so if I'm standing on this, will it let me? Let's just do it this way. Uh, nope, can't skip travel right now. I guess it's a story thing. I thought it was not letting me skip travel because I was swimming. But it might, the story might just not let you skip travel at all. Oh well. It's not that long of a walk back over here. Just thought I could make it go a little bit faster if it would let me travel. Alrighty, so now we take this path and we go up this way. Well, I'm certainly ready to see Nia. I might stomp Nia into the dust because of how leveled I am, but it'll be fun to see her, nevertheless. Or Robo Nia, rather. Oh, they're stupid Ropals. The Ropals always aggro. I'm just running. I'm not fighting you, dorks. What was that? Little thing. Bye-bye! Can't stop me! Oh, I have to actually interact with this? Okay, we'll have to fight one, but one's not a big deal. We can do one. I just didn't want to do all of them. There's that uh, skill I have, Cursed Cuisine. Ow. I am dead. Thank you, Uni. I got hit by that fireball right at the start, so... Go ahead and finish you off in 
we can be gone. Oh, I wish Lance could learn Komodo Fire. Sounds amazing. Maybe I'll get that one from a future Ropal fight. He's hoping. Give, give, give. Yeah, I was thinking this was going to be a cutscene, but no, it's actually an interact prompt. I think this is the place. We break through this wall. We can get outside, right? Alright, Senna, we're up. Got it. I'm with you. Big punch. Big punch. That is pretty crazy. Alright. Well, luckily the wall was a little bit cracked. Ooh, shiny. Alrighty. And now we're walking along the Top side. Ah, oh, this is cool. Castle. Now Agnes Castle. Guess it had to happen eventually. How about so, here? So, taking levels into account, this is going to mean that Robo Neo is just straight up stronger than uh, Robo Melia. Which I, I suppose makes sense, given the context of what they've been talking about with uh, Agnians and uh, Kivesi. A squarer, that's what those things are. Digging Sandfly Fossil. Take a moment to appreciate the view here. Got a lot of things to look at. Can't believe the castle's just floating. Kind of nuts. Prison Precipice. We gotta go in here and get Gondor. Let's and find right. out where the yeah, queens are. Keep our strength up. It's been so long since we've been talking about the main story, I had to think for a moment what exactly what it what was happening. Don't just assume they're pushovers. Never uh, done. that thing... That thing popped out of the ground and then just kind of ran... Hey! Uh, do I need to fight you? Are you like a metal slime or something? What are you? Neo Pepito. It just popped out of the ground and then... We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it totally is a metal slime. Yeah. I got a, I got a knop on coin for it, and it also gave me a bunch of CP, I guess, because people ranked up, and it's not like that was a hard enemy. Okay, yeah, I think I've seen one of those pop up before, and I think a commenter's mentioned it before. Um, that you can fa farm knop on coins from those things. But that was the first time I've ever seen and actually reacted to one. How about I saw the little thing above its head and I'm like, wait, this seems important. Cool. Alrighty, goodbye Ansels. Over We're going to be breaking in. We just got to commit to the motion. We'll go on my mark. I here bet this go. is the door. <laughs> Not skipping it. I bet this is the door. No. But I need to Looks watch like these doors. No turning back after this. Well, on we go then. I mean, we already couldn't nice turn back. This has got to be the cutscenes people were talking about, where if you skip the door, then it skips a cutscene. Nothing reprobates. Beautiful morning today. If only I could appreciate it. Didn't get much sleep. Do you know why? Because the eclipse draws ever nearer. How many of you are getting made an example of and hopes rest this time? I can hardly contain myself thinking about it. Couldn't catch a wink of sleep last night. Me? Nutty snuffer. He's really enjoying this. Yet, nonetheless, the show must go on in order to unite our hearts and minds to keep the world in balance and perfect harmony. This will be your final resting place. So why not live a little while you still have some body to enjoy it with? <laughs> wow, I can't wait to murder you. I'll give him something to enjoy. What term is he even? It's not like he'll have that much longer than them to live. Ah, oh, bollocks. It's okay. I'm not bothered. I hate people like that. Is this about the right place? 
I can't tell from the data we've pulled. We'll have to check each route systematically. And yeah, they're talking about Hope's Rest, the thing we found out about in the city forever ago, the giant mound of bodies that they sacrifice people to. Ugh. So, uh, what are these other pathways, huh? Like, what's down here and stuff? That one says that's my objective. What would happen if I go down other path? The guard prison camp. This makes me think of in infiltrating the Shinra building in Final Fantasy VII. All right, so lots of guards here. Bah, just our luck. Let's go somewhere else then. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't just hop in there and take them out. Stealthy. All right, what about this one? You gonna let me go over here? Yay, nay. This is... a warehouse of some kind? According to the schematics, that's what it is. What do you think, Noah? There are no guards, we should, so we should be able to proceed. You're right, seems safe enough. Let's get down through here. Oh. Hold up, shouldn't we be taking off our eye patches? As far as I can tell, the people being held in here don't have them on. Makes sense. Uh huh. Wasn't the whole point of the eye patches to stop Mobius from seeing us, though? I I don't know. I would have kept them on, I guess. This, yeah, that just went down there. But and then this, that, yeah, okay. The map, the map's confusing me a little bit. I get. I, I thought it was to the jam the Mobius stuff and all of that. I mean, yeah. Wait, didn't they tell us that by the time we're in there, we won't need the eye patches because there's just gonna be so many people anyway? Better give it a good one. Something like that. It's been a hot minute. We've made it inside. Damn right. Now we have to find this Gondor customer. Hello? Much sneakier infiltration than the Keves one. God. Flying dropkick to the face. Go die in a ditch, you turd. Yikes. Never thought I'd hear someone tap Uni's sweary mouth. Don't you go copying her, Senna. Nah, not my style. Oh, wow. Ways to talk trash about one of your friends. So, where was I? Think it was about while they're here. Oh, right. That. So, what's the idea, sweethearts? Now she's playing nice? You're Gondor. What's it to you? Monica from the city. She told us about you. She said you'd know where the queens are. <laughs> so you are the bitch queen's lapdogs? Please tell us what you know. We have good reason to meet with them. To bring peace and to set the world to rights. This shit again? 
What? I'm fed up with hearing that sanctimonious odd and crap. So you aren't going to help us out, then? If you're trying to kill the now, then you can just forget it. Um, kill the now? Did I bloody stutter? Oh, you just don't get it. Maybe this'll hammer it home. Eggy, oggy. Mom? At your command. Give this lot of bruising and dump him in the trash. Mom, my pleasure. Uh... Okay. We're in the we're in the prison coliseum. Let's go. Coliseum Mark. It's in a lot of JRPGs. <laughs> oh, I like your wet Oh, the pugilist, yes. Gimme your pugilist class. I want it. Come on. You do have quite the mouth. She's scaring me. You and me both, Cinna. Uh-huh. You're quite young. Younger than I am imagined. I don't know if Noah was trying to say, oh, Gondor's a girl or Gondor's a kid. I imagine it was Gondor's a girl since you said the, the queen has a weird sense of humor. But you said bitch queen, so I thought you were talking about um, your queen. Let's see, you're... You're at, uh... No, you're... Vessi, because you're at the Agnian, uh, place, right? Or I guess you... No, you're just from the city. Well, basically what I'm saying is the queen's the one that names them, right? So I thought that's who you were talking about in regards to your name. The bitch queen having a sense of humor. So... Yeah, but then it sounded like after that you were talking about Monica, so... Well, you're certainly going down. I don't need to chain attack you, so... I want that class, though. I want that class bad. Just hoping I get it. Did you die already? You're holding on with like 2 HP. There we go. Getting all the buffs in the world from uh, <laughs> our friend. Thing. And this probably isn't even needed, but uh, bye bye. Alright, they weren't so bad. Went down pretty easily. than you think, Noah. Yeah, no jokes. Of course she does. She's a pro. That's Monica's daughter for you. Uh... Huh? Daughter? You mean... that she was born from Monica? Like that baby we saw? That's about the size of it. Plus, the head Ouroboros candidate. That too. You don't say. It all adds up now. Oi! What are you prattling on about? You got something to say? Say it to my face. We do. Go on then. Why are we fighting each other? It's so pointless. Piss off. No, it's not. Why? Because you dads haven't figured it out. About killing the now. Yeah. Then stop holding out and just tell us. Set the world to rights, you said. Yeah, I did. Not sure if you're just being self-righteous, but take a look around. Think about how many lives it's cost. Running after that shit already. All right. 
right, that's enough. On your knees now, all of you. Hands behind your head. Disobey me, you'll get time in solitary. Change of plan. Sheathe your blades now. Let's just do as he says, okay? <sighs> And the part of the JRPG where we get thrown in prison. Okay, got it. Stay safe on your end too. Yeah, being in a prison where people can just conjure weapons up in their hands would be pretty scary. I'd be very scared if I was those guards. Way easier to do a prison riot if you can just- everyone can just conjure a weapon. Well, most people. <laughs> that would be scary as all hell! How do you- how would you keep the prisoners under control? Jensen and the others are all in the same cell, it looks like. They didn't notice us coming in from the outside. I think we can call step one of the plan a success. Wonder how they're we're going to get Gondor to work with us. Yeah. The way she said that we were trying to kill the now sounded like she might take some convincing. Yeah. She's basically saying, like, oh, we've already put so much effort and lives into killing the status quo, let's just give up, which. Eh? The status quo will probably kill more lives and take advantage of a lot more people down the line, so we might as well take it out while we got the chance. Man, what the spark does that even mean? No idea. But I think I want to talk to Gondor- I want to ask Gondor about it. Lots to talk about. Talk? Dude, I'm not looking forward to raising a merry ruckus just to get out. That seemed not strictly necessary. What do you mean? Now, you're new around here, eh? If you don't stir yourself, you'll miss Grub, you know. If you don't stir yourself, it doesn't get up. They even feed us? Well, now, seems we have more freedom than we initially assumed here. Let's look for Gondor. This is like grade A, this prison is going to get rioted to high hell. Sweet, let's People are free to kind of walk we around and do what they want, you. and they can just call a weapon whenever they want. <laughs> You don't even need to make a shiv if you could just call your bastard sword into your hand. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 off here. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.